directors, with friends from the media. Good morning, everyone. Last November, we saw of Mei Xiang, Tian Tian, and Xiao Qi Qi from here. Many American friends, especially children, were reluctant to say goodbye. A few days later, President Xi Jinping announced in San Francisco that China is ready to continue its cooperation with the United States on panda conservation. So as to deepen the friendly ties between our two peoples. Today, I'm very glad to share with you some good news. Bao and Qingbao, our new envoys of friendship, will soon fly over the Pacific and join the big family of the National Zoo. Born, both born in 2021, Bao Li and Qingbao are of Generation Alpha. In fact, Bao Li has a lot of connections with the National Zoo. His grandma and grandpa are Mei Xiang and Tian Tian, and his mom, Bao Bao, was born here. Bao Li is just as handsome as his uncles, Tai San and Xiao Qi Qi. I believe he is also excited for the upcoming trip from his hometown in Sichuan to DC to see the place where his family lived and get to know the friends here. As for Qing Bao, she is a star. At one year old, she became the ambassador of the 9th World Wildlife Day. Her name, voted by Chinese netizens, literally means a treasure in green mountains. From that alone, you can see how much we cherish nature and pandas. China has all along been promoting ecological progress. Nearly 20 years ago, then Zhejiang Party Secretary Xi Jinping said, clear waters and green mountains are just as valuable as gold and silver. Today, this has become a consensus in China. As a mega biodiverse country and one of the first parties to sign and ratify the Convention on Biological Diversity, China has made biodiversity protection a national strategy and has worked vigorously to build a beautiful homeland where man and nature live in harmony. To better protect pandas, we have established a giant panda national park with a total area of more than 2.2 million hectares. The kingdom of pandas is now a haven for many other rare and endangered species too. Today, the number of wild giant panda pandas in China has grown to nearly 1,900, and the species has been downgraded from endangered to vulnerable. This could not have been possible without the dedicated efforts of generations of panda conservationists deep in the mountains. It is also inseparable from international cooperation on panda conservation. So far, China has worked with 20 countries on panda conservation. The United States was among the first. Together, our researchers have successfully bred 17 pandas, panda cups, and solved a number of technical challenges. The National Zoo is an important participant in the process. In 1972, it was exactly here that Ling Ling and Xing Xing, the first pair of giant pandas coming to the United States, made their home. Since we started the cooperation program with the National Zoo in 2000, positive outcomes have been achieved in panda conservation and breeding, disease prevention and treatment, and public awareness. This has been helped, this both helped us better protect pandas and boosted our people's friendship. The current round of cooperation will focus on prevention and treatment of major diseases and protection of habitats and wild giant panda populations. I have heard that the team at the National Zoo is renovating the panda house 
to give pandas more space to exercise, eat, play, and relax, so that Bao Li and Qing Bao will live a healthy and happy, happy life here. Dear friends, giant pandas are national treasures of China, superstars at the National Zoo, and the favorites of many around the world. The iPanda channel, where you can watch pandas eating and sleeping 24 hours non-stop, has attracted has 55 million followers globally. Bing Dun Dun, the panda mascot of the Beijing Olympic Winter Games, was so popular that people lined up for hours to buy a toy. Born amid the pandemic, Xiao Qiqi raised many people up in the tough times. Now, with this latest round of panda conservation cooperation, as we mark the 45th anniversary of our diplomatic ties, American friends will get to see pandas more often. Apart from Bao Li and Qing Bao, Yun Chuan and Xing Bao will head to the San Diego Zoo. Even before we establish diplomatic relations, our cooperation on panda conservation had already begun. Over the past five decades, pandas have held a special place in the childhood memories of numerous Americans. Today, many of those happy kids have become grandpa and grandpas and grandmas, dads and moms themselves. And they look forward to taking their kids to the zoo to tell their stories with pandas and start new ones for their little boys and girls. When I posted on X in February that China and the National Zoo were in talks on panda conservation cooperation, a lady, a lady commented that you don't know what this means to me. To, to me. I have a very happy five-year-old here in DC. Two little panda fans from California wrote me several cute letters proposing giving China grizzly bears to get pandas. <laughs> the love for panda stays unabated. Dear friends, in Kung Fu Panda 2, the soothsayer said, told Bao that it is who you choose to be that makes you who you are. For the well-being of both peoples and the future of the world, China and the United States should choose to be partners, not rivals. Panda huggers should not be stigma stigmatized. If there should be any protectionism, then let us protect biodiversity, protect the only home for the entire humanity, protect a stable, sound, and sustainable China-U.S. relations, and protect a better future for the younger generations. I encourage everyone to care for China-U.S. relations just as you care for pandas, and jointly usher in a peaceful and prosperous future. I wish Bao Li and Qing Bao safe travel and a wonderful time in the United States. Thank you very much.